Investors, business people, managers, entrepreneurs, welcome in our Republic of Mamba Chamba, the country of the big business opportunities. That you are visiting my workshop here tells me that business is right to your heart. Let me introduce myself. I'm KH and I'm the representative of the local uh, uh, unity of commerce of Mamba Chamba. And I'm in charge to involve you in the business and how this works in our dear country. Our workshop is about how to influence state employees. Is this important to your business? Yeah. Yes, I guess it is. We should take in consideration that our republic takes every year hundreds of billions of euros tenders and you could get part of this cake. And if you follow my suggestion, I think you can be very successful in influencing the decision maker. Well, how does this work? Let me tell you that's how this works in the way first, how it does not work. In the good old times, maybe you would have taken a suit like that, a suitcase like that. Then you stuff it full with 100 euro uh, bills with this and your tender, with your proposal, you go to the negotiation and uh, you give it to the state clerk. You would say something like that, you know, mister, we would really, really, really like to come in business with you. Is there something what we can do in order to support your decision making in our favor? This is wrong. This is a bad way. Do you feel how embarrassing this is for the state employee? How would you feel if somebody comes with a suitcase in your office and says, Hey man, I have the money, I'm the rich guy, here take it and give me, the, give me this uh, tender, give me the order. This is not working like this in our republic, not in Bamba Chamba. In a different way. I tell you now how it is going to happen. We have to think a little bit about our opposite side. You know, this state clerk is sitting the whole day receiving offers for, let's say, a road construction. This works like that. He sits there and there comes an entrepreneur in and says, Mister, yeah, we are doing this in good quality, in good time, and this will cost us 280,000 euros. Clerk would say, okay, fine, interesting, we take you off in consideration. Next one. So the next entrepreneur comes in and says, seems like that. Hey, we will make this in good quality, good price, in time, and it will cost you 240,000 euros. Do you accept? Hmm, interesting. Thank you. We'll take your consideration, your consideration. And then come you. And you're different. You come in this room, you say, Hello, mister, we are doing this project in time, in quality, speed, everything fine, for 2,240,000 euros. The clerk was started. I said, 2,200,000 euros. How the hell do you come to this figure? You will say, oh, one million for you, one million for me, and 240 for the guy who just left your office. You know? What a proposal. You know what it's called like? It's kickback. This is kickback. Yeah? And kickback is a beautiful way how to make a relation, how to make business with an organization like the state one is. What's the advantage of kickback? You see, number one, you do not have to run with a suitcase full of money through, through a city that's, by the way, pretty dangerous, and I would not suggest it in our beautiful republic. <laughs> <laughs> and would you give the money to somebody without having anything afterwards? I mean, it's risky. Number two, think about your cash flow. If it use kickback, you need no cash at all. Because the money is financed directly out of the deal. No risk for you. Number three. Did you ever have troubles with too high prices with your services and your products? Kickback is the solution. Suddenly on the opposite side you have somebody who brainstorms with you how to make your service even more expensive. Isn't that a deal? So, use kickback. You live more safe. So you do not have cash flow problems and you can raise the prices of your services to an unknown level. This is my suggestion. This is how we do business in Wamba Chamba. 
Now, we still have some minutes for our workshop, and I will refer to some frequently asked questions, which is there. <clears throat> How risky is it to make such an offer to a state employee? Well, the bad news is, corruption is illegal in Bamba Chamba as well. You cannot end up in the prison. The good news is, our parties are on top of that, and they take care that the decision makers in the state offices are clear, rational beings, and don't, that all the idealists are moved out or not there. So, low risk. Second, there was some demonstration against corruption lately. Does it mean the good times are over? Not at all. Well, this is organized by the opposition, and they will simply swap the government, and nothing will change. Stay cool. Third, how is the expectation, how will kickback develop in the future? Research shows that 50% of the state employees will react on your offer even before you give them the offer. So don't worry, so they're very proactive. And we expect a growth kickback of 15% yearly for the next 10 years. So that's good business. So, we are running out of time of our workshop. I hope I could give you the right message. Use kickback, save, be more safe, save cash flow, and get the prices up of your businesses. By the end, just to make a dis disclaimer on the end of my workshop, all characters appearing in this speech are fiction, and any resemblance to a real country is not intended. 